KFGO.com here talking with the uh, women's head basketball coach, Carolyn Dioff. And, and coach, big game this weekend. you got SDSU coming up. It's the midway point for your team. And, and let's talk about the team up to this point. Uh, rough non-conference, but then you guys have done really well in the conference. Talk about how much that's built up your team's confidence. Uh, well, certainly I you know, give compliments to our players for maintaining that confidence because it wasn't easy at times with the non-conference schedule and being on the road as much as we were you know put together there so um, 2012 has been great for us uh, we've played we've played pretty well uh, we certainly had some breakdowns here the last couple games that we've addressed and we certainly need to pay attention to those and correct those because we have the top team in the conference coming in uh, in the Jackrabbits uh, tomorrow night and so we're going to have to play 40 minutes of solid basketball. What are a couple of those breakdowns that you guys have addressed? Well really it just um, we kind of let the game dictate how we you know how it was going to happen instead of us dictating how we wanted it to happen and I think the second half of both of those games we came out and dictated it for you know ourselves and so we have to make sure that we dictate the start of that game with our presence uh, and how we're going to set the tempo, how we're going to play defensively, and how we're going to execute offensively. And if we do that, then we you know, can have a pretty good game against South Dakota State. Yeah, going into that, they're, they're a tough team to kind of force the way you want to play. How, yeah. how are you going to do that against them? I mean, they play really good defense, and they box out really well. Great rebounding team. How are you going to do that against them? Well, I think we have to play our game. And what that means is we have to set the tempo defensively. Um, and we've been pretty good at being more aggressive. Um, on the defensive end, and that helps it. And that helps in terms of one athleticism that we've addressed, two our depth, uh, and getting our rotations into place. And then offensively, we have to do a better job of executing. UMKC did a did a good job of getting after us and getting into us. We obviously experienced that much over the non-conference time. Not that we haven't with the other um, conference opponents that we've played, but UMKC was a little different athlete, position by position. And so that's not going to be any different with South Dakota State. So it's definitely been a great preparation for us and uh, we certainly are ready for them tomorrow night. How do you get over the hump? It's been a few years since you guys have beaten SDSU. What, what are you going to tell your kids in the locker room before the game? Well, you know, um, really it's it's another game, uh, but again, it's uh, it's a conference game. It's against the top team in the conference. And when we play 40 minutes of basketball and when we're all engaged and when we're all involved, we're, we're a pretty good team. And if we can remind ourselves that it's us who, who decides that and approaches that and, and not allow the other team to determine that for us, which South Dakota State does. I mean, they set the, the tempo for a lot of teams. We have to be able to control our own destiny. And to do that, we have to have the mindset that we're going to defend, that we're going to execute offensively, and in the end, we'll see how the outcome turns out for us. It's going to be a, a packed crowd. You have to assume there's going to be a lot of energy. How are you going to keep those young kids on your roster, those young players, in check? Keep them, you know, don't let them get too high emotionally. Oh, that's a that's a great question uh, because you know as freshmen they don't know any better other than it's another game in conference. Um, it's certainly a rivalry, so you hope that they just come and play without any type of fear, in terms of you know this is a rival game. This is South Dakota State. This is the you know they've won this so many times. It's really just just come and play. Come and play the way that you're capable of, and you know with the likes of obviously Janae Burrich and Abby Plucker and Danny Deganya and Hannah that have played this rivalry um, and ended up you know beating them down there last year but you know you don't you don't put a lot of emphasis on that you just understand that you play your game you put yourself in a position at the end um, to be in the game then you may have yourself a chance to, to win the game. KFGO.com here with uh, senior women's basketball player Abby Plucker and Abby big game coming up tomorrow uh, against your home state really I mean you got a chance to go against USD earlier this week is there really any difference now that you've gotten to play USD and SDSU between kind of playing those two teams um I guess I would say just the excitement level like you could tell the crowd was kind of used to us playing like USC and SDSU in the past so going into the game there's sort of that little extra excitement and incentive to just go out and play hard and I really like that about playing those two teams and I know a lot of the girls so that's kind of nice for me too. Now you got SCSU and 7-1 in the conference. You guys have really played well in conference this year. Has it built up your confidence with the way you guys have played in conference? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think playing our tough non-conference schedule, going against teams that have good guard play, good post play, 
lets us know we can compete with those people. We don't need to be scared of any of these conference teams. We can compete and play with anyone. So I think it just it gives us that kind of extra confidence playing these tough teams. Now you're a senior leader. How are you going to keep your younger teammates, you know, kind of emotionally stable, I guess mm -hmm. would be a way to put it, because it is going to be kind of an electric crowd here tomorrow. Yeah, yep. I think definitely when you're young, sometimes you can let your nerves kind of get the better of you. So hopefully I guess I can just kind of be – maybe a calming factor if we're getting a little jittery, maybe having a few too many turnovers and kind of just say we're okay and calm everybody down. So probably just leading by example, I think, would be my role, hopefully. How do you keep yourself in check emotionally? I mean, this is the last time you're going to play SDSU at home and a lot of last coming up for you being mm -hmm. a senior. How do you keep yourself in check emotionally? Um, you know, that's kind of hard, like you said, knowing you're facing some of those ending, ending things and it can be a little bit emotional, but... I just try and approach everything with I'm going to go out and work as hard as I can, let the chips fall where they may, and you know when the game's done, at least I can say I gave it everything I had and take pride in that.